Hello, and welcome to part 3 of Crimson Ninja's tutorial on how to load custom samples onto your Ucreate device. The next thing we are going to cover is converting your samples, your waves, into a format readable by Lopgen. And what Lopgen does is Lopgen converts these converted files into a lop format to use in the uload. But we need to convert them first into 8-bit PCM. So we're going to go ahead and open up Audacity. And real quick, I'm going to minimize and I'm going to open up my rendered and I have my samples here. They need to be named sample underscore zero to sample underscore eleven. And once again, I will cover that sample zero, sample one, sample two, and so on. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. This is where they will go. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and put these over here. And then bring Audacity back up. Now we can go ahead, since we have all these pre named, we can, make, we can make this pretty quick. We go to Import Audio, we select all of them. We've got to make sure we set our project rate to 8,000 hertz. And if you are using samples that aren't loops pre-rendered from a DAW at 96 beats per minute, two bars, then say you're using like an eight, you want an eight second sound, or something from an eight second sound. You can go ahead down to here and make sure that this is on five seconds. We'll see that I have this selected. If I go to four, it selects only four seconds of it. So we'll click back again and five. And then we can go up here to trim audio and click that and it will trim it to exactly five seconds, which is what we need. So we're going to go up here. We have all this. Oops, I'm selecting more. Okay, we have all this. We have all of our samples. The next thing, the only thing we need to do is export our audio. Actually, not export audio, export multiple. And then make sure we select other uncompressed files. Go to Options, Wave, Microsoft, Unsigned. 8-bit PCM and then choose your export location I have mine set up to automatically export into converted like I said to keep things organized another important thing is you need to clear your metadata for every sample if you do not clear the metadata it will leave the file sizes larger than they need to be and it will create problems in Lopgen and when you load them onto your Ucreate you will get these drones or solid tones because the Ucreate needs everything to be sized exactly. It's quite finicky. So there we go. We have all of our samples converted now. We don't have to save anything. Um, go into our converted. We have all of our converted samples here. And that is it for part three of the tutorial. I will see you on part four.